Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the Debian 12 Gnome desktop. So let us start. In the last video, we had done the installation of the Debian 12 Gnome desktop. So this is the grub menu. You can see here the Linux kernel version 6.1.0-9 is uh, the current uh, default kernel that is available from the Debian. And there is a recovery kernel also. So we will boot into the Debian desktop. and check out what the different uh, applications are there uh, which are upgraded what part of the system is upgraded now uh, one thing is to show uh, in the debian genome uh, 12 book home edition the verbose during the boot is now very much detailed earlier this much detail was not available in the verbose but now you can see it is very detailed it is showing each and every service that is uh, getting started up Earlier this was not the case, the verbose was not that detailed. Now we will just enlarge the screen. First thing that we will do is we will do the resolution uh, scaling properly. I think it will not show the resolution uh, proper scaling of the resolution. Yes, so I was my doubt was right the resolution scaling is not done properly now at the bottom you can check out the different sessions available so the current session is gnome wayland you also got gnome classic gnome classic on xor and the gnome on xor so we will stay with the gnome wayland now in the accessibility features everything is available right from the high contrast zoom large text screen reader screen keyboard visual alert sticky keys slow keys bounce keys mouse keys everything is available in most of the linux distribution they only have two or three accessibility features rest are disabled but here everything is available and uh, this is the combined menu now the pill shift uh, buttons have come in the control menu you can see it here the simple volume slider is there the power menu is there the dark mode uh, button is there dark mode to light mode shift button is there the network uh, button is there it is pill shift and the power modes are there balanced and the power saver mode so this is available at the bottom you can see here the debian 12 is written in a same color there is no vibrant color I, I, they could have done the this uh, debian symbol in i think maybe pink or some uh, color so that could have looked more vibrant anyway you have got the calendar at the top now we will do the login to the debian enorm desktop and we are now logged in first thing that we will do is okay so this it has done the scaling properly and we are now in the enorm desktop first things what we will do is let us uh, check out the top uh, yes so we have got the activities applications and the places so by default these are not available we have to enable it through the extensions and the tweaks but i have done this uh, i just checked the gnome desktop before we started so i have already done this you can see it here in the applications you can see you can access the different applications section wise like accessories games graphics internet office sound video system tools and the utilities so everything is there for you in places you can directly access home documents downloads music pictures videos computer browse to network this is the workspace this is also done uh, via the tweaks and extensions and the english india keyboard uh, layout is already configured that we can do it via the welcome screen or you can go in settings and add the uh, keyboard so that also i have done earlier so i just checking out what is uh, different in the gnome desktop before i did this video so there is a small welcome screen only the location services and the keyboard layout you can do it not not much is there in the welcome screen this emerald wallpaper is there looks very nice very soothing and very you can say attractive wallpaper is there in this debian book home 12 now let us check out the firefox edition 
and here in the calendar you can see at the middle there is a notification area calendar is there you can add world clocks and you can select the weather location we will now check the version of firefox it is version 102.12 esr so in the bullseye uh, edition of debian the 91 esr was there then they upgraded it to i think 92 or 93 esr during the lifetime of the debian bullseye now here it is version 102.12 in the debian uh, 12 bookworm so that's great it is now uh, quite latest version it may be one or two versions behind uh, behind the current version then you have got the evolution is there then you have got the files gnome files so let us check out the version just a moment just a moment we cancel this yes so the version of gnome files is 43.2 so it is centered around the 43 version of the gnome desktop we will check each and every uh, gnome application and its version so i will now close this let us check out the evolution version so version is 3.46.4.2 so earlier it was i think 3.38 and some uh, minor version so evolution also has got a upgrade now let us check out the software store so it is uh, looking same now in codex let us check out the different codex so here you can see the different codex are available additional codex so you can easily install them in fonts still the software store is taking some time because i earlier checked it that uh, that time also it was taking some time to show this placeholder uh, pictures for the different applications but uh, you can see it is completely loaded i think it will be more than 59000 packages that are available in the create section these are all the applications for creating so you can use this to create uh, say audio video all those things kind of things productive things you can do it from here this is uh, application related to the office productivity in the work uh, section there is a play section socialize learn and the develop section so this all uh, all traditional that is available in gnome so software store and all the current um, applications are available so all updated applications are there so uh, debian team has now has got all the applications updated you can see it here that these are the installed applications so we will check one by one so now let us check the software store version so it is version 43.4 okay now we will go at the gnome help let us see so this is the gnome help now it looks quite sleek as compared to the earlier gnome application uh, gnome help and all your help is uh, now in sections so if you have got any require any desktop related help you have to click this section if you have got uh, to check out some help regarding sound and media you have to click here user and system settings you click here if you got accessibility issues you can check for the help on the accessibility if you if you want some more help you can uh, get tips you on using this guide and connect with community with more help using this so everything is uh, properly done and usual uh, visual uh, overview of the gnome is available here so you can check this out everything is given so if you are new to the gnome desktop you have to come here and check out the visual overview of the gnome desktop in the gnome help how to log out users how to power off everything is given here so this is uh, recommended for the new users who want to try out the gnome desktop and these are the some start applications how to quickly run a command how to start applications everything is given so it is quite comprehensive now i will close this and we will go ahead so in gnome desktop earlier the welcome screen was not there i think but they have now added the welcome screen it gives you option to install the keyboard layout uh, then location services and the online account so you can also configure the online accounts for example microsoft or the uh, google accounts you can add 
you can even add your uh, domain also so if you got uh, your domain you can connect your system to your uh, uh, work domain so that is also available so it is uh, not that much uh, utilities are there in the welcome screen of uh, debian but debian is now very much catching up with the other linux distributions so i cannot show you the welcome screen because i was just uh, checking out the gnome desktop earlier because the gnome has got the maximum upgrade so from the version 38 uh, 3.38 now it has come to 43.x version so that was a big jump of uh, many major versions so that's why i decided to first check out the debian uh, gnome desktop before i can make a video but uh, once the welcome screen only appears once that is during the first boot up and uh, after that it is not uh, available because in some linux distribution the welcome screen is always available but i think here it is not available or i just forgot there might be some tick box at the bottom so if you want welcome screen at every startup so might be that option was there but i did not take a good look and it was lost so but you can uh, of course uh, when you will install the gnome desktop you will get that welcome screen now and when i upgraded my system personal system where i make these videos the welcome screen was not there because it was upgraded from the older system but if you do a fresh install the welcome screen will come now let us try and check the different applications so this is the contact set setup so let us check out the version of the gnome contacts so the gnome contacts project is 43.1 version and gnome weather let us check out so that is version 43 gnome clocks 43 version so that is also current version gnome videos uh, this is not gnome videos it is a videos application not gnome videos sorry yes well, help is there it is not showing the version i think this uh, app, uh, this video is called totem video player it is a third party not uh, gnome or debian application these are games this is the calculator or the calculator it is advanced calculator you can see it has got scientific uh, working also scientific as well as general uh, arithmetic functions this version is 43.0.1 it will go step by step setting system monitor i will come back later first we will do the extensions check you can see here the extensions is there it is now updated you can see it here version 43.4 the applications menu auto move windows launch a new instance native window placement this is status indicator removal drive screenshot window sizer user themes window list window navigator so it is everything is there workspace indicator is there here so i have already checked out and done some settings now let us check out the disk usage analyzer you can see here the debian root folder out of the 5.1 gb allocated to the debian root system only 747.1 mb is available and this is the home folder we will check it later in some other applications the home folder yes here you can see in the gnome disk the version is 43 version is there you have got the root uh, partition with size 5.3 GB out of that 747 MB is free in the var partition you have got 2.1 GB out of that 1.6 GB is free in the swap so I think the swap is completely free right now it is 1 GB in size the temporary partition has got 436 MB space allocated out of which 398 mb is free and the home partition is the largest 17 gb in size and for that it is right now completely free because there are no user uh, user files and folders everything that is not done here so that's why it is completely free it is a fresh install 
now we will go ahead let us check out the gnome uh, image viewer so the version is 43.2 the gnome image viewer device document viewer is there so the version of device is cannot be seen right now we can see this version only in the software store okay then the archive manager this is the gnome archive manager version 43 so everything is current and we will check gnome logs so here you can see there is some application that has failed to start up so this is important all logs and you can search the logs by application system security and hardware it will show you the different uh, logs for the each of this that version let us check out the it is version 43 enum logs enum tricks we will now try out so here you can see the enum tricks let us check the version first so the enum tricks 42 point beta is there available enum shell is uh, version is 43.4 gtk version is 3.24.37 so gtk3 is currently being used in the non tricks it is developed with the gtk 3 uh, version 3 so here you can see the appearance section only advaita theme is there only advaita theme for the icons no there are other uh, three themes are there gnome high color and high contrast so icons has got four themes surfer has only one theme shell is empty sound is only default theme legacy applications have got four just like the i can think that is advaita advaita dark high contrast and high contrast inverse and then background there are few uh, wallpapers you will check out later and the adjustment is there for the wallpaper image in font this is the font manager you can see it here the version is 43 gnome fonts project version now we will uh, go over to the let us check out the input method so here we can do the input method settings from here so office libre office suite is there complete suite let us check the version of the libre office suite so it is 7 uh, 7.4.5.1 libre libre office community edition so it is also current version version of libre office current stable now we will go ahead we, uh, yes document scanner is there let us check out the document scanner so the version is 42.5 so this is from the older gnome desktop version 42.5 not very old but uh, at one version back we can say one major version back Gnome calendar, I think it was left out. So version is forty three point one. Gnome calendar. So everything is current. Only one or two applications are not current. I had already checked before I started this video. Nibbles, yes. Gnome music. Let us check out. Uh, this is not possible to see the version of Gnome music because that. Uh, hamburger menu disappears let us take out the g edit version is 43.2 so this is also current version transmission is there rhythm box is there let us check out the rhythm box so this is the also current version of the rhythm box 3.4.6 it is not connected with the gnome project but uh, it is a separate project but still it is uh, this is also updated likewise the transmission is also updated to version 3 and anything else your yes, sound recorder is there 
So let us check out the sound recorder. So it is version 43 beta. So this is part of the Genome project sound recorder. Let us check out Shotwell. Shotwell version is 0.30.17 CLA version is there. So this should be also updated at least few notches up. Software and updates. We will check this out. So by default, the genome repositories, only the official supported main repository is enabled. And non-DSFG compatible firmware for the hardware support, that is the non-free firmware is, uh, is enabled by default along with the source code. This two, that is the DSFG compatible software with the non-free dependencies contrib and the non-free is not enabled by default. You have to do it. I have already done it uh, in the earlier testing. So these two repositories, this one and just cancel it. This one and this one is not enabled. You can enable it, in, enable it once the installation is complete and you can disable the source code. Source code is not required. You will have to input your root password to do this. So I disable the source code. It is not required. Source code uh, enablement is required for the developers, not for the general user. So I disabled it. Otherwise, what will happen? The source code will get downloaded and it will just take up the space on hard disk. So it is not required. And right now the software packages are getting downloaded from the dev.debian.org. It is a local Indian repository I am using. In other software, uh, the DVD ISO image was there. So I have already removed it, edited and removed it. In authentication, you can see it here. These are the different JPG keys of the Debian developer team. So this is required to authenticate with the repositories and download the updates. And if you add some third party repositories, like for example, you install this Zanmod and Liquorice kernel, then those JPG keys from the Zanmod and uh, Liquorice kernel will be added here. And they will be required to update your Zanmod and Liquorice kernels. And these are the developer op options. If you want to test your uh, newly uh, new updates, you can do is do here and tick the proposed updates. Then you can do the update testing also whether the updates are working fine or not before the final release. So you need a internet connection to continue. Let, let it do it. It will every every time you open it, it will check once for the new updates. We are done. Sound recorder. Okay. I think we have done everything. Now what we will do is we will come back here. We will start the system monitor. So here in the system monitor, you can see the root uh, partition is 5.1 GB out of which only 465 MB is available. Root partitions 476.3 MB out of that 378.5 MB is available. Only 72.3 MB is used. Home partition, it is almost completely free, only 91.1 MB is used. The temp partition out of 372 MB, 50.2 KB is used. The var partition out of the 2 GB, 1.6 GB is available, 278.2 GB MB is used. So most of the partitions are uh, almost empty except this root which is almost 90% full. So when you use the LVM, that is the logical volume manager partitioning. This is how the partitioning is done. This is how the ratios of uh, partition space are allocated to each of the different pa partitions. And this is how the space utilization occurs in the LVM. That is the log logical volume manager style partitioning. Yes, one thing we have forget. Yes. What we forget to check out the resources. Yes, we can see here. The CPU, all the CPU, uh, all the CPUs from 0 to 12, that is the 12 CPUs are all used and the utilization is from around 1 or 2 percent right up to the 12 percent mark. You can see it here. No CPUs added. In the memory usage, around 1.7 MB is there. In uh, earlier testing, I could I could see around 1.6 GB of the memory uh, or the RAM usage. Swap is completely free and idle. And you can see here the processes are there. I want to show you one thing. If you check here, the wire plumber is there. 
pipe wire is there and the pipe wire pulse. So now the pulse audio is not used. Uh, the Debian project has switched over to pipe wire. And if there are some applications which are still using pulse audio, there is a compatibility that is the pipe wire dash pulse. So your older applications still uh, running on the pulse audio can also work here. And the wire plumber is also added here. So everything is there. And we are using the XVLN session. You can see here the XVLN is there. And system D is still there. So non-system uh, non D if you init system from still not available in Debian. Anything else? Yes. Now we will check out the settings. So scaling is properly done. Yes, we can switch on the night light. So Yes, because it's a virtual machine, night light is not available. In actual machine, it will go. So this is how it looks, everything. Now settings version, we will check first. Okay, so the version is not available or what? Yes, here you cannot check the version. So what we will do is, we will just go back. So we can restart. Yes, now it is, we are back. So this is the network manager. You can see here the wired connection, VPN, network proxy, in Bluetooth also. Bluetooth manager is there. It is disabled, but you can enable this. It will not enable in the virtual machine, but you can do it in your system. This is the appearance section. It is taking some time. Yes. So we will check this later. First, let us check other things. That will be the last thing. So these are the notification settings. You can do it for each of the applications given here. This is the search function, application search, search locations, you can configure the search locations, you can do it in, inside the system and outside the system also, that is uh, with the internet also you can do that. This is the multitasking, you can set your hot corners, active screen edges, dynamic workspaces, fixed number of everything you can do it here. Multi monitor settings, workspace on, displays, workspace on, primary display only, application switching, everything is there. It is the latest uh, Genome desktop, stable desktop that is available. Arch will be on, I think, on 44 and Debian is now on version 43. So, we are on current version, we can say. These are the different applications shown here. And you can configure the notifications for each application. These are the sharing. So, you can share your computer name. You can enable or disable sharing from here. These are the configuration for the Online accounts, Google, Nextcloud, Microsoft, Microsoft Exchange, Last FM, IMAP, and SMTP, and the enterprise login that is the Kerberos. Right? So, this is available. Sharing, okay, we have done. Sound settings. The power uh, settings are also there. You can see here uh, this is the sound setting uh, system volume, volume levels, output, input settings, alert sounds. You can all do this. You can have the alert sound with the click, string, swing or hum. This is the power settings, balance or power saver. You can uh, do the power saving options like uh, blank screen, automatic suspend, display settings we already seen, touch and mouse pad settings are already is all general. I will not go in much detail. Keyboard settings we already done. The English India with Rupi was added during my testing. So it is now the default one and this is optional so we can also remove it from here so if you want you can remove this just one click is required to remove it input source switching everything is there use same for all windows switch input individual for each window so each window you can have a different uh, keyboard uh, layout special character entry everything is there keyboard shortcuts printer settings are there you can configure the printer from here removable media settings color so right now this color setting won't be available uh, to check because uh, we are in virtual machine. Regional and language settings, you can do it here. You can see here the formats India and English. Login screen is also English formats. We can check out. So here you can do the uh, preview of the format that is being used for the login screen. Accessibility features, you can enable, disable them from here. Pointing, clicking, typing, hearing, seeing, everything is there. You can configure the user, so you can add users, remove users, you can add 
uh, users to some groups you can have groups of uh, users everything is done from here default applications where firefox web browser is there mail is evolution calendar has evolution as the default calendar mail as evolution as the default email client music has totem uh, video player video playing is also by totem you can also configure this you can have music with rhythm box just select this yes and photos image viewer you can have the uh, firefox also to manage your photos or you can have a short well viewer so it is up to you day date time function is that you can configure the time zones and the day date time and the time format from here and now in about section this is important you can see it here the os name is debian gnu 12 that is the book form 64 bit genome version is not available but it is you can say 43 version we have seen it quite a times windowing system is vlan virtualization is kvn and the software updates you can check it from here this is my hardware uh, configuration for the virtual machine and this is the 26.8 gb vda that is the virtual hard disk that we are and and we can check out the version no version is not available this is also version 43 only so we are done with this and now we can what we can do is yes one thing was pending we will go to the settings do it from settings only that is the appearance so in appearance section you can see here the default and the dark things are available so what we will do is oh no there is some issue you can set it dark so the wallpaper changes this is the dark wallpaper and this was the default light wallpaper so what we will do is we will switch it back to the default and we will check out the wallpapers of the so this is the light wallpaper dark wallpaper looks very nice you can see it here and these are some older wallpapers from the bullseye edition these are also looking very nice we cannot check everything but i am showing you the different wallpapers some of them not all can be checked here This is how it looks and this is the bullseye wallpaper, default wallpaper. Now we will go over to the dark. This is the dark wallpaper. This is how everything looks. And this this is uh, it remains former, uh, same for both default and the dark thing you can see here not much change is there and check it here so it is not changing with the change in style or theme of the desktop this was wallpaper also won't change A lot of it is taking some time now yes so the default uh, debian wallpapers won't change with the style dark or light they will look the same okay so that's it in the wallpaper section i will go back to this wallpaper okay so this is how it looks this is how the debian wallpaper looks so with this i think uh, we have completed the full review of the 
Debian Genome Desktop for the Bookworm uh, release. So it is the latest Bookworm release of Debian that is version 12. And the Genome Desktop is now bumped up many versions, major versions ahead to version 43 from the version 3.38. So it's a big bump and it is a well step in the right direction. And now Debian is neck to neck with other Linux distributions. It has got all the current uh, applications, versions available and you can enjoy the des desktop. It is totally bug free. I don't see many bugs. In my upgrade, I think I, I got one or two bugs only. One bug was that the play on Linux uh, icon picture disappeared after the upgrade. And uh, some other small niggas are there. But uh, totally we can say it is a very uh, successful uh, upgrade. You can do the upgrade on your system also or if you want you can do a fresh uh, fresh uh, installation also so in fresh installation all the wallpapers are there in my upgrade many of the new wallpapers uh, genome wallpapers are missing so only two niggles were there that is some wallpapers are missing from the genome uh, and the other thing was that the play on linux uh, icon picture is missing now the play on, play on linux icon is empty dark icon is there the wall picture is not there so only two niggles are faced when I did the upgrade from uh, this bullseye to the bookworm. But if you do the fresh install, uh, those two niggles won't be there for you. They won't bother you. So with this, I will stop the video here. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.